Them can't hold we down. Them can't hold we down. Them can't hold we down. Wagwan people, one of the YouTube, everybody doing good. Respect for tuning in to another video. And here upon the agenda today, we have Klein brother, Toy, sending a serious message to his mother's killer. Yeah, man. Stay tuned for the clippings there. Also, Mr. Vegas expose Bounty Killer wicked. Yeah, man. Him see a Bounty Killer set up Alkaline against Massacre. And also set up Skilly Bang against Alkaline just the same. But no one has want to hear this. So make sure you stay tuned so we can get the full details. Also, in this video, I'll be showcasing a new music from the bad artist. Apollo, the song called Unstoppable. Them kick we out, but we back again. Brand new style for the fuck of them. Yeah, we unstoppable. Stoppable. Yeah, we unstoppable. Stoppable. Them kick we out, but we back again. Brand new style for the fuck of them. Yeah, we unstoppable. Stoppable. Yeah, we unstoppable. Stoppable. Much appreciated if you guys would press on the like button just to see them. Follow us on Instagram and you can always share this video across every single platform. So everybody can be apartheid just to see them. So I started off with the new music from Apollo and this is a more uplifting song for the ghetto you with them. You see the pre? Yeah man. With also giving account to things that he has to face on the way of being successful. You see the pre? And one of them things that the bad mind people them are always a fight. We always try to bring you down. You see the pre? Yeah man. So I highlight them things in the song. You see the pre? I wanna check it out and give my strength to you. Also lads, get the dollars. Go get a go for where you want. Now make them tell us say you can. Get a youth and I see the sky full of stars. Go go be one of them. Go go be one of them. I see the map and my Anna Jamaica that. I love it so much if you this a shot. My mother said where you plant. I that you reap. For my good in your heart, be a blessing and go rain. With everything we are going right now in the world, the youths them, we have a broken mind. The youths them wanna feel too highly of themselves. Them need to hear the song, yeah. Then me some up uplifting. You see the pre. See a star in the sky. Go and go be one of them because you have the potential. You see the pre. A them type of message I want for you circulate in our environment, in our community. You see the pre. And a song you by Apollo. Unstoppable. Our unstoppable are one of them songs there. We don't need to check out. You see the pre. But guess what? I'm going to pin the link to that song here in the description. You see the pre so you can go check it out. Give my strength just the same. And let me know what to think about the song. Yeah man, you can also follow him on Instagram which is Apollo the man. You can go check him out on Facebook to see him. You see the pre. Yeah man, bad bad song. Them kick we out but we back again. Brand new style for the fuck of them. Yeah we unstoppable. Stoppable. Yeah we unstoppable. Stoppable. Them kick we out but we back again. Brand new style for the fuck of them Yeah we unstoppable Stoppable Yeah we unstoppable Stoppable So right now we're gonna move on to another topic So many of you guys would have known by now that popular artist and YouTuber Enclined Mother passed away on the weekend Tragic tragic incident You see the pre Yeah man I wouldn't want him to relive it any at all So I'm not gonna go back over that I'm not gonna check out the other video them if you know, don't get the news Just go back on the channel You see the pre Yes, and he also has brothers that is in the same field as him, like Twy and Vinch, and another brother which I, I'm not sure of his name. But no, right now, I want to say again my condolences to the entire family. Hopefully, you guys are keeping strong. It's the pre, yeah, because we know it's a rough time that you guys are going through at this point. So, and and people, if you can. Um, render some farmer assistance in terms of praying for them instead of pray so them can get back on track quick and fast but in this video I'll be um, basically showcasing and providing you guys with a bit of update um, client brother Twy did post a clippings on his Instagram story basically reacting to the tragic incident of his mother check this out that me I tell you no kill all woman and them thing me I tell you myself say no bad man pussy Man, I hold some money for cut off on the head of the body, but the boy. Tell you that. Yeah, big up the youth, them we are hustle. Me strongly feel like this is a message that are the mindset we should have towards these type of person. Yes, to the pre, because we see them over and over. We see something similar happening in St. Thomas um, last month. Um, luckily, um, the community rallied and they were able to. Um, find the girls. Yes, the pre. In this case, um, clients 
her twine mother just to see him she wasn't um so lucky but definitely we need to rally and find this brother you see the free somebody must know something somebody must see something somebody must hear something you see the priest as a community as a nation this is the mindset we need to have towards these type of person because they are living in among they are living among us you see the pre them drink them talk would we see them way them hang out would we and someone would know say them I carry out them them action yeah but yet still we keep silent we can't do it so we need to change our mindset you see the pre and you can definitely see it say the, the, the brother feel it you see so again my condolences hopefully you guys are staying strong Again, people, if you can send us some prize, word of encouragement, and continue to do so, you see the priest, so them can get back to the right mind. You see it? Yeah. But right now, we're moving on to a different topic. Right now, we're going to check out the clippings from Mr. Vegas. And then basically, yeah, I explained to us that this, these feud, lyrical feud that we're seeing um, between an alkaline and massacre, or even a skilly bang and an alkaline, a bounty killer, the one way. We actually orchestrate all of that. You see the pre anime expose to you. Bounty killer run out and say yo, alkaline album a trash. And then he ma try make it look like say yo him not compete. Because him know say him album probably not do as good as alkaline one. Anyways, we know not gonna hear this so watch it to the end to get the full details. Thank you guys for tuning in. Leave a like on the video as always, follow us on Instagram at Dance All Agenda. I'm out. Shall for you as an artist when you say you have a body at work I come to, you know. Uh, you have a, 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 um, a project a come forward. It's essential for you to say, you know what? I hope that the man work do good because if people start buying music again, if people start support dance and music again, if people start support Jamaican music again, it may impact my sales in a positive way. Yeah? So whether you like the man music, yes or no, or whatever, Jamaica we come from, the whole we are ghetto youths, the whole we, most of we are ghetto youths, most of we grow up with poor mothers and all of them things there. But when a man put out him work, and because you don't know, like the man, I'm say we then, see? When a man put out him work, and because we don't like the man, we grab our phone, and we go up on our social platform with thousands of fans them. And who have like millions of fans you know, have. Or hundreds of thousands of fans you know, have. You know, go, you know, so brazen with it. You know, you know, so brazen with the evil. Because you know what people call evil good. And call good evil. That's why you know, so brazen with it. You know? That's why pedo boy is so brazen with them evil ways. You know? Because people call evil good and call good evil. See? So when a man put out him work. And before the man work could have even come off of the press. Before a man work could have even... Reaching at the stores them, get pan the chart them. A man I go put pan in page say. The man album name Flap Prize. And the people them, I see the artists them, I see artists over there. I like. Me see artists over there are LOL and I put up. And about one general and all of them things eh. What that says about we as artists. If we are going to encourage a man to do something like that. But when the man put up theme project and I say, yo, theme project I come. Uno go under the project, fit for the post, uno go under the post there and I say, big up the generality. Yeah, man, can't wait. But this album, this, that, that, that. But how comes, uno never did say, you know what? No, general. Make the youth go through. Me not support that general. The same way you can go under the general post when he may post about theme things them. And I, and I gas him up. You know things say when the general do something wrong. Just like when you go under him post them when he may post up theme sitting there. You know things say. As a human being we are deal with love. We are deal with love for your brother and your sister them. You know things say one could have do better or we could have do a better job of say yo. That not right in a general. I will in such an authoritarian, authoritarian industry where one man just can't do anything and get away with it. And if a next man try ever try something like that, everybody ready to cut off the man's head. I 
And I'm going to say, yo, that gone a long time. Where I bring it up back for? I'm going to show you why I bring it up. I'm going to show you why I bring it up. Because Eva go on now. No wickedness no go on punished, you know. No wickedness no go on punished. None. No wickedness no go on punished. I'm going to show you why I bring it up. See? The youth put out him album and the man put on him page. Since everybody and them granny making album this year, all of a sudden, let me make this clear. All who and who dropping them like a dumpling thing, do it fast and move because when giant a feed up a pudding pan a cursing thin business, in other words, the biggest, baddest, and best album a come. So the man a two him on and I say I come with the biggest and the baddest and the best album. So I say anybody where a drop album must drop it and come out of the way fast. Big bad statement that means you believe in your project and you say, yo, my project is going to be the biggest and the baddest project. Nothing can go around it. So what change? What change? Your project is so big and bad and bossy and because you have DJ Kali them and everybody know you have all of the artists them will rate you. And all of the artists, they may go and let them a groupie because some of the artists, they may just groupie, you know. They may just groupie because they can't check you. Over the years, they never yet check you and they dare not check you now. They just get old and some big old groupie, man. Some big old groupie, man. The artists, they may run back at you and kick, kick, kick with you and laugh out loud and this the youth them. They just become some big old groupie, man. See? You see, you have the biggest and the baddest album I come forward. So you decide, see, I go tear down the youth. Call the man album flat price. You put up one bagger. You go, go dig up all of your catalog with all your performance, them in the, in the little. You see, you target him little. When, when you say the man album flap, you know, the man start to do better numbers than we have seen in a little while. Unless it's like Sean Paul. And the man even, I think the man even stream better than Sean Paul album. As, and Sean Paul is a big pop. Sean Paul last album when Sean Paul put out. I think Alkaline stream better than the album there. See if I'm not mistaken. Right? The man out there promote him thing and the man are doing thing and you are put up your thing them and you compete with the youth. You as an icon, you are a dinosaur and that thing. You are the, you are the man where people rate get out of the street with everything. But you know what? You're just like the hungry belly dog. You're just like the craven puppy. You're just like the dog on the bridge, you're looking at the water, see him own a shadow and jump. You couldn't just allow the youth to just eat a little plate of food because you have the whole pot over you. So. You're not short of ratings, you're not short of appellation, you're not short of glory from black people or Jamaican people, West Indian people. But you see a little youth over there, so you do a little tiny plate. A little tiny plate I eat over there, so you know. See? And you're gone over there and kick over the man's plate. I try to kick over the man plate. And you go over there, you and your friend them kick over the man plate and the man take back the food and put on the plate and you still go back over there again and kick it off again in the, in the, dirt, in the dirt. The man take up him two dumplings and brush them off and put them back on the plate and start eat again. Boom! And kick over the man plate again. The man say, yo, you nah, that's my food. No, me go. So the man said, boom, and just go and eat him food and not pay you. No, man. A people like we were out here all the balance. See? I say, yo, we no support. No man a tear down the youth. Zin? So you see how the biggest and the baddest album I come forward. See? Disrespect the youth. Try clown the youth. Try pin the other brothers them. The other brothers them in the music. We are the good. You try pin them. To upstage the youth. And put the youth them in some predicament where no people have to compare them with the youth. You create that, you know. You create such a division, you pedo boy. You created such a division in a dance hall, you know. People think say this cute, and people think say man a pick pan your man a call up in here, and man a try style the general. But you created such a division and keep creating such a division in a dance hall where you pin the youth them against each other. When the youth them never even ask feet. Boom! You start pin massacre. 
Massacre one little youth to boss and not do him thing. And I eat him food. You can't allow the youth make the youth just go and eat him food and go through. Why? Because you do a song with the youth, and the youth maybe benefit from the song we do with him. So, of course, you feel like say, the youth obligated to you. So, where do you draw the youth in your fracas? You draw the youth in your semantics. And you start push the youth beyond anybody's expectation. Maybe even beyond his own expectations, you start push the youth. And the youth is just like a young artist come forward and I put out his music. Right? You know we pin the youth you now, massacre we have put out film work now. Against Alkaline. What if Alkaline fans them with the rate massacre and want to support massacre album? You know, say so you cut off that. I wonder if people realize what a man the man is. Let me tell you something, man. People don't think so them thing are, they think so them thing are cute. One of the things that them thing are right, people. Massacre put out him record. What you do? You start talking about Massacre better than the whole of them and why we blah 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 blah. If you start saying that, and Massacre put out him album, where you draw the youth now your semantics? You know your folly. No, you know what you do now? You created a division now with Massacre fans them and Alkaline fans them. So if Alkaline fans them even rate Massacre and want to support, just, just, just say you have some youth just rate Alkaline um, as an artist and just rate Massacre as an artist. So them no matter really, I look on it of the, of the fanatic side of it. They say, yo, Massacre album, I go grab it, you know. Alkaline album, I go grab it, you know. You know what you do? Because you created this narrative, say, yo, the man is better than the man. The man is better than the man. The man now, I say, yo, I was an Alkaline fan before, you know. I was an Alkaline fan from Brave. So you go, I don't think I go buy Massacre album. I go look and see what numbers it do. When? If you never did that, make the youth them compete against each other. Maybe Massacre album it do way better. Same thing you post up Skilly Bang. Skilly Bang this, Skilly Bang that, rare, rare, blah, blah, blah. The youth just are coming out of the business. The youth now out there. I try to start no beef with Alkaline. But what you do? You draw the youth in the fracas. You draw the youth in your semantics. You draw the youth in your, in your evil behaviors. Indirectly, you, know, you draw the youth in a your war where you are going with the youth, you know, your, your imaginary war, your, your fabricated war where you, where you created with the youth. You created a, a you, you're so illusional where you created this war. Right? You have this illusional mindset where you created this war with this youth. From the man boss, and the first time the man boss and the man go sing one song. You just created this war with this youth. Over something where the whole of the girls ever say, yeah, do. Where we know. You created this thing, so you eat the youth, and you burn out the youth, and the youth are freak, and all of them things, eh, right? Let's see how that personal against the youth, then. But you hear we do. You hear we do now. You draw the next youth, them, in at the thing with you. Indirectly, when the youth, them not even ask if you, but you them rate you so much. Them now go say, yo, general, leave me out of it, you know, because them know, say, if them this, yo, the street cred where them have, where them build without you, because them youth are bust without you. Them afraid say, yo, you're now followers, them are your sheep, them now. Them are going to start burning them out and them now go get the father where, 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 where them forget. So enough you play it safe and just make it go on the way I do. But in truth, that's something the way you do. When you start, boots up massacre against alkaline. You boost up Skilly Bang against Alkaline. Oh, you know, say them Alkaline fans, they wouldn't support Skilly Bang record. And all Alkaline fans, they were just, I just as a vendetta alone, you know. So my Alkaline fans, they my massacre fans, they are, are could have be Skilly Bang fans, you know, but what you do? You put a wedge between the youth, them. You, you put a wedge between the youth, them. You see? And if you look on the numbers where the youth, them do, you have to ask yourself, say, yo, when if you contributed to it, Wonder if you contributed to it. Why it couldn't be a situation where a man say, yo, alkaline do good. Yeah, man, them next youth who want them do good too. So you are going black people. We want them on the album do good too. You know, we could listen to it and hear what I go on with. And we, you know, we have fans who can critique it. Let the fans them do that. But no. You turn media and start critique man album. So we watch the youth them. Basically, I compete against each other without them even knowing where you do.
where you tried. You see what you see one of your youth them perform on a show and the next youth up on the show. You run come. Nobody has never depend on the show. Pinning one of the artists artists na music against another youth again. So that means uh, when alkaline to see all the artists they know in the streets now, I see that youth they know the road then. I see that youth they on the grass. Alkaline never feel like say, yo, the man is good all against him. Because of course the man rate you and you. So when the man come now and look and see him at the post, the man have to acknowledge you because the man rate you. And you do it because you know say the youth rate you. Because you know say the youth have to acknowledge you, you do it. And if he not acknowledge you, you vex with him, you cut him off, you start burning him out. So right this to know we have two brothers now. Well maybe them never have nothing, you know. A two good artists them, you know. With two different styles, you know. And the two of them could have eat them food and the two of them could have gone and do them thing and the two of them could have gone see I two as brothers, you know. See at the end of the day we are brothers, you know, we are black brothers, you know. At the end of the day, we are Jamaicans, we are black brothers, we are Africans, we are whatever. Them never have to even be friends, but as Musicians, them good, they have a rating speech, other, you know, but what you do, you put a wedge between that. You put a wedge between that, general. Seeing? Alright. You create a wedge. You've been doing that for years. Creating division among the youth, them. Boom now. Crunch time I come now. Your album load up. The biggest and the baddest and the bravest and the everything and the wickedest and the toughest and the roughest album now is load up now. You look and see, say, nowadays record now sell like that. You look and see, say, some of the artists, them numbers, no look good. You get stage fright now. Start walk back the big bad talk now. And you put out a statement. A pathetic statement. Because now, crunch time. And you're such a narcissist, where you're afraid man you put out your album and you know do the numbers them, and the people them. Call it out. So what you do? You're gone in a damage control mode. And you put out a statement here. Yeah. I heard lots of complaints from genuine music fans and music lovers across the globe. About the sound, state and condition of dancehall today, which most of us can agree that it's confusing at times. But the change is inevitable, however, so I decided to gather a bunch of artists as producers, artists or artists, producers, musicians and writers to try and remind today's fans what authentic hardcore international dancehall sounds like. Because... The radio mostly plays rap and trap. Also, the cable people getting it mixed up. 18 years ago, I dropped my last album, then launched Alliance to run dancehall. I never ever needed the hype. This album isn't to compete with the younger folks or anybody. It's more of a template to guide who doesn't understand fully about the roots of the dancehall culture. I hope you all appreciate it when it comes because most people today only complain and comment about music, but they don't buy it. Let me go back to your, your post earlier on this year. Since everybody and them granny making, <laughs> I don't want to laugh. I don't want to laugh. This is a serious thing. Right post Alkaline album, the man album not even reach in the store good. The man album not even pull out of the plastic yet. This is your statement. <laughs> But I wonder if the man do them thing here people for those clout. Or the man just do them thing here for us. Rile up black people. For turn against each other. The man put out a statement here you now. Hear the man. 
since everybody and them granny making album this year all of a sudden, let me make this clear. All who and who dropping them little dumpling thing do it fast and move because when giant a feed up a pudding pan cursing thing business in other words, the biggest, baddest and best album. No, crunch time. Time now for your step in the ring. Time now for you present your presentation. Time now for make your presentation. Yeah, set the table. Yeah, set the table just in case you don't know, get the numbers them. Here you set the table. I heard lots of complaints from genuine music fans and music lovers across the globe about the sound, state and condition of dancehall today which most of us can agree that it's confusing at times but the change is inevitable however so I decided to gather a bunch of artists, producers, musicians and writers to try and remind today's fans what authentic hardcore international dancehall sounds like. Because the radio mostly plays rap and trap, also the cable people getting it mixed up 18 years. Uh, no, come on, there, so just excuse me. Getting mixed up. 18 years ago, I dropped my last album, then launched Alliance to Run Dancehall. I never, ever needed the hype. This album isn't to compete with the younger folks. You put out a statement when Alkaline dropped him album, you know. So everybody for drop them dumpling album, you know. So who know ya said that album ya no fi compete? Because me no fool fool me no run gang and make one album say me want compete with your album. Me so overly ambitious me run gang make one album and say yo. Me want my album compete with me even if, even if my album no get the numbers them where your album get. Me want at least compete with you because me a drop my dumpling album right after you drop your album. Me never plan to put on album you know. Me just say yo me want compete with a big bad 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 album ya because me a youth. Me know say competition brings forth the best out of people. So when you put out a statement that everybody for drop them dumping album and all of them things eh? So why you come now about say you know you know drop your album for compete with nobody? Me not get it, me not, me, me not get it general. But you know what? You've been doing it for years and people laugh up with you. People support you. Artists we claim say them are dealing with love. Claim said them a deal with righteousness. Claim said them a deal with peace and unity. Them support you. Them stand with you. Them stand with you. Them support you. And them cheer you on. Them cheer you on and encourage you over the years to do them thing. Yeah. Oh, you will come now when your album a your time now to make a presentation. You are going to come, come tell we now. When we are anticipate this big bad album, we are going to rub out Alkaline album. We are going to rub out everybody else's album. Specifically Alkaline. Because of Alkaline you want to rub out. So we are look for you come now with this thing. I come rub out Alkaline now. You, know. you come and look sympathy from the people. Them. You come and try to play on the people's them emotion now. I talk about say. You hear complaints. From people across the globe about the sound of dancehall. You claim say. I heard lots of complaints from genuine music fans and music lovers across the globe. About the sound state and condition of dancer today, which most of us can agree that it isn't it that it's confusing at time. You don't hear nothing from nobody across the globe about the state of dance you. Yeah, you me tell you why. You spend you in a year prime. You spend half of the time I try to destroy the artists and what people know across the globe. You know concerned with dance all across the globe. This is a copy of capote, you know. A copy of capote. And the whole world I go see through you. I mean, who hope see your album do well, you know. I mean, who hope see your album do well. I mean, who hope see... Because one thing we can't take away from you. He's a good DJ. Can't take that from you. And if, you, if somebody writes a good song like Dave Kelly or one of the man, they write a good song. 
We can't write here and say, nah, go forward and do a good song and, and bust the place again or whatever. Maybe you have a big tune for your album. Maybe your album bad. But you know what this does for people when you support evil? This just shows we say you're just an empty vessel and you're weak. I just, this is you know. It just shows we say you're just an empty vessel and you're weak. I'm tell you, say, you know. I tell you, say, you know. Evil longer prevails when good people stay silent, you know. And that's how we always call you out. That's how we always call you out. Because the things that we do are warranted. The things that we do, they not even have no. Yeah, they don't have no reason for do them. But anytime you want to rile up your little followers, them and your little loyalists, them boy. Be if same like you in a them personal life, so them have to find somebody where you and them fit the same, you and them vibrate on the same frequency, the same energy. Them find your energy for channel for them energy. I use like a conduit. You see what I say? 